morning morning y'all um today we are going to do a power sheets check-in and i've got a couple of hacks here that have uh, been helping me so i'm going to share those as well so let's get into it Okay, morning y'all. It's Kate with SaltyKatie.com. It is Sunday morning right now. I am actually going to do like a little check-in of my power sheets and then show y'all what I did to um, sort of make the power sheets more of a part of my daily process. Um, so the issue I got into is like I started the power sheets in June. Uh, it went well for a couple of weeks. Uh, I kept the tending list out on my desk. But then I got thumped with orders. <laughs> Y'all do that to me sometimes. Sometimes you're like, I need jelly, and you just thump me with orders. <laughs> so that's what happened for the basically the month of July. And I let my power sheets slide at that time. So what I did recently was redo my power sheets for August, look back at my goals again, and then I came up with a way to help me keep my power sheets um sort of right in front of my face all day long so um here's how my power sheets came out for august um if you've been following me you know i started noom i um as i sat down to do my power sheets for august and kind of seeing where my goals were at it it was clear to me that my top priority for the month of august was going to be my health I don't feel well um, I'm tired a lot of the time and I'm trying to figure out why that is uh, I know part of it is that I've got excess weight on so I've joined Noom um, but I'm gonna kind of spend the rest of the month of August trying to take care of myself um, putting those healthy habits as top priorities kind of situation um, so that's how August sort of ended up looking, uh, in terms of like health being the higher end priority. Um, I've also got some other stuff going on here. I've got to go do TSA pre-check for, uh, a trip. I want to spend some time with my family. I am working on several home projects that I will be sharing here on YouTube as well. So I've got some, uh, monthly action items related to that. I've already filmed our uh, command center redo revamp situation and I think this is coming out uh, this video here should post on the 18th of August the following week hopefully I'll have that command center video ready for you um, I've got some goals related to uh, finances here um, <clears throat> and then for my weekly action items I ended up with um, just for my grocery shopping and exercise falls under that health category and then uh, my YouTube goals and air dropping um, my IG photos to my phone because that helps me to post daily on IG which you know is important so what I actually did to make the power sheets more functional for me personally they're just naturally labeled with a week number one two three four five and I found that kind of hazy for me like it made it more difficult to sort of have a concrete idea so what I actually did was go in and put in the week ending date of each one of these weeks um, so 8 11 8 18 and 8 25 were the three sundays i wanted to post videos so i put those dates in the same goes for instagram uh, i put in my grocery shopping dates my exercise dates um, and that helped me a lot with sort of having a more concrete goal so i want to have exercise two times by you know august the 11th uh, the following week, two times by the 18th, two times by the 25th, if that makes sense. It made it way easier for me to sort of um, visualize what I needed to do and make it more concrete in my planner. And then I did something similar with the daily action items or habits, uh, a wellness check-in uh, to make sure I'm staying on my Noom and my water intake. So what I did was actually go and split the weeks and then enter in the dates for each of those weeks so that I don't get sort of confused about what Monday it is or what Wednesday it is or whatever 
<laughs> like for whatever reason that was kind of a barrier for me to be effectively using the power sheet so I put that in and so far it's working well I can tell what day it is if that makes sense easier so um, if you've got a power sheets and you kind of having that similar thing I wish you'd try this like actually mark in the dates and then let me know how it goes and at the end of August um, I plan to uh, come back with these power sheets with these couple of little hacks I'm going to show you this one you know entering the dates being one and then see if that made a difference in my own ability to keep up with the power sheets if that makes sense so there's that and then what I did for my actual planner the power sheets is um, perforated here but I don't want to tear up my planner y'all I mean I know that's kind of dumb it is my planner but I just don't want to tear the page out for whatever reason I'm like okay don't let that stop you so what I did was actually uh, scan in the, my tending list and I tipped it in behind August so that what I can do every day when i come to my planner come in and check in on everything it's right here in front of me and then so i do that first every day and then i can just flip my page and there it's out of my way um because i do not like i i couldn't figure out how to tip it in at first i was like oh i can tip it in here or oh i can tip it in there but i, I do not like stuff covering up my weekly um page and i also don't like it hanging off the side if that makes sense so this actually worked out perfect you could do this um at the top of the page or at the side of the page and then when i get ready i can just you know take it out and then update my actual power sheets here Ooh, what is that some shit stuck to my planner y'all anyway so that has been helping me quite a bit with keeping this right on the forefront because apparently for me personally I will not use not necessarily go to a second book every day like I would not necessarily go to this power sheets every day which you really kind of need to be doing that because um, you've got these daily action items you need that reminder or I do so now here's a way where it's dated appropriately and it's right in front of me and then when I get done every day I can just get it right back out of the way so there it's been working a lot better just from these couple little things that I've done here excuse me I don't know if y'all can hear that my dryer just went off I mean you know okay anyway so I have been finding that those two little things have been super helpful with keeping up with my you know goals and stuff on the daily because what keeps happening to me is when I get thumped with orders um, so for y'all it may not be orders it may be other things you know stuff happening with your kids stuff happening at school stuff happening at work where you're just sort of in that daily grind and you're not paying as much attention to your goals as you'd like to that's what happens to me anyway i'd love it if you tell me if you have a similar experience down in the comments please comment below and let me know so i know i'm not by myself in that i suspect i'm not but anyway so i'm looking as i'm realizing that that's happening that um like a big rush of business comes in or something else happens and it kind of pulls me away from my goals which I want to be working on consistently daily weekly monthly yearly so I'm trying to figure out ways to get around uh, that busyness to still maintain my goals while life is happening because that's how you're successful right you're doing it anyway you know not everybody has challenges and things happen and stuff come up and you know but that's how you become successful to me anyway is you're you're working around that successful people didn't stop living while they were becoming successful and I don't mean that just in a business sense I mean successful as in a happy family a happy home a nice job uh, whatever it is that makes you feel successful anyway I hope that made sense so what I'm going to do is come back in just a few weeks show y'all at the end of August and talk about whether it's helped me or not these couple little hacks and yeah we will go from there and also I am 
I think today is 16 or 17 on Noom. So far, um, I know if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, please do. Um, I'm on there on, on Instagram a lot of times on my stories on the daily so it, it help you keep in touch if you want to and um, I talk about Noom I've talked about Noom a few times on there so I'll be back in a couple of weeks not only with this power sheets check-in but also with a, a separate video about Noom and how it's worked um, is you know if I ever mention it on my stories I get a whole bunch of messages so be sure you're subscribed and you don't miss that Anyway, so I'd love it if you drop me in the comments down below about the power sheets and how they're working for you and if you think you can use these hacks. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you again real soon.